I'm going to be talking to you about how to copy files from one drive to another drive. In order to do that, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and go to your Start Menu icon, which is the Windows Start Menu. And then I'm going to ask that you click on Computer. Once you do that, you're going to see all these different drives that are available to you. The local disk C is more commonly known as your hard drive. At home, you're probably only going to have a hard drive. Drive. Here at school, we've got all kinds of drives, and I want to talk about those here in just a second. But the hard drive is where you'd store big pro, uh, files like uh, programs that you would use. The other drives that I want to talk about um, are like your U drive, very, very important. Your U drive is actually not found on the hard drive of the computer you're sitting at. The hard drive of the computer you're sitting at, you would never want to store your own personal projects on there because any student that sits at that computer has access to those projects. That means they can mess with those projects or even delete those projects, and then you're out of luck. So you never want to save things to the hard drive. You want to save them to your U drive. The U drive is really you. It is your cyber locker on the student server here at school. You'll know it's the U drive because it says you, and it'll have your username, your school username there. That happens to be my school username. Yours will look different than mine, but that's the U drive. And that's the only folder you want to store information on here at school on the computer. I mentioned the word server. What is a server? A server is simply a computer with a massive amount of storage space on it. We have two servers here at Jackson Middle School. We have the teacher server where teachers have their own U drive and we have the student server. Notice I can't see any of your um, drives here. I don't have any of my students U drives here. I just have mine. That's because we're on the teacher server right now. Yours will look a little different. It won't have some of these things, but it will have your U drive. So we have two servers here at school, the teacher server and the student server. The student server has been partitioned into smaller little areas that are your U drive. So it has different little tinier drives partitioned from the larger drive. Partitioning means, it just simply means separating one space into smaller spaces. So um, what is a drive? It's nothing more than a place to store information. Like at home, you may store things in a cupboard. Uh, you may store things in your closet, in your dresser. Uh, some of you even store things under your bed until your parents tell you to clean that up. But uh, if you can store stuff there, you store stuff there. Notice some of my drives are getting very, very full. So eventually, I'm going to have to start cleaning these out to gain more space to store stuff. Some of these drives that I have available to me have plenty of space left in them. But as long as you have space to store stuff, it doesn't matter what kind of file it is, what kind of data it is, you can keep cramming it into, into those drives. That being said, uh, you always want to save your work here on, at school on the U drive unless you're using an internet-based program, which you'll be using the cloud drive. Yeah, there are other types of drive. You're all familiar with the cloud drive, and I know you're all familiar with a pen drive or a flash drive or what's called a USB drive. Those are external drives. Uh, the cloud drive is out on the internet. A USB drive is something you plug in, but it's a storage space and you can store stuff there. Here at school, you're either going to be using your Google Cloud Drive or mostly in this classroom, you're going to be using your U drive. That's your cyber locker here on the student server at school. With that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you the T drive. Now you can get to your drives over here or you can get to your drives over there. The, they're the exact same thing. But I'm going to have you go into uh, the T drive, the template drive. The template drive is where teachers will store things uh, that they supply to their, their uh, students. Um, you want to find the computer's Hartley folder because that is the folder that is for my classroom. And you're going to go into the digital tools folder. And then you're going to go into the graphic design folder. And you're going to go into the sample photos folder. All right, so while we're here, um, I want to show you a couple of neat things. Uh, a lot of you, when you first pop into this, it'll probably have you in what's called list mode. I'm a more visual person, and so list mode doesn't give me enough information. I don't really know what I'm look at, looking at. 
Um, sometimes it'll give me a list mode with details. At least then I know I'm looking at all picture files. These are JPEGs, which is the computer file extension for a picture or an image file, but still not visual enough for me. Me personally, I like large icons. I instantly would see what kind of file it is. In this case, these are all picture files. That being said, um, you're going to want to select a couple of these pictures to put into your U drive to use for projects. And I'm going to show you exactly which pictures those are. But first, I want to show you a neat little technique. I know that all of you know that you can click in this white space and just kind of drag across and grab multiple layers, uh, I'm sorry, multiple files at one time. And that's good, that's great, but when you're inside of a program, that does not work. Inside of a program, you, you can't just click in the middle of space and drag and select things. Inside of just about every single program that I've ever used in my life, you can do this though. Let's say I want the picture of this lady and everything in between her and these people on the beach. If I single click on the picture of the lady and then I hold down my shift key, click on the people in the beach, it grabs everything in between. That works inside of every program. So you may want to remember that little technique. Let's just say I only want this lady, this lady, and this bunny. Now I know that you know you can click on this little check mark, put a check mark in the boxes. But when you're inside of a program, there is no such thing as these little check marks that you can use. So you're going to want to know how to use something else. In that case, I'm going to single click on the lady here. And then I'm going to hold down the control key. And I'm going to click on the picture of the kids and the beach people. Notice it grabbed all of those without grabbing anything in between them. Now, let's say I, uh, and I actually don't want you to grab this, so I'm going to hold my control key down again. Holding it down, I'm going to click on this deselects those, keeps these selected, and then I want you to actually select the lady. These are the three pictures I'm going to want you to have selected, so go ahead and select them now if you haven't already done so. It really doesn't matter to me now how you select them, just make sure those three pictures are selected. And then I want to show you how to transfer those files into your U drive. So I don't want to click off of this or I'll have to reselect them. Notice over here, don't click on your U drive. Don't click on it. Here's my U drive, but don't click on it. See the drop down menu? Little arrow? I'm going to expand the folder. Now, I have an awful lot of folders in there. You will not have those folders. I'm going to go into this folder here. I'm going to click on, remember, don't click out here. Click the drop down menu. And I'm going to go into my eighth grade computers folder. Your folder is probably labeled, labeled computers or maybe you labeled it digital tools. Don't click on it. Click the drop down menu. You may have a specific place in there to put yours. When you get that folder open, click and hold and drag them. Notice the number three. That means I have three pieces of information, in this case, three images selected at the same time, and I'm going to drag them over and I'm simply going to drop them in my eighth grade computers folder. Those pictures will now be in my 8th grade computers folder. If I open up my 8th grade computers folder, there are those three pictures. And that's how you take information from one drive to another drive. In this case, you need those three pictures because you're going to be using them when you start learning how to do Photoshop for image editing and graphic design.